Today, we come together with the Clay Laytonay First Nation and Tourism Prince George to celebrate the culmination of months of hard work and collaboration. The raising of the Clay Laytonay flag outside the main terminal building and the history display, the panels you see inside the building, symbolize our dedication to acknowledging and preserving Clay Laytonay culture. I have stated repeatedly since becoming chief that truth and reconciliation is not just a Clayton Tanae. It's about all of us. Working together to build a community we can all be a part of and proud of. The team at Prince George Airport Authority came to us a couple years ago and asked us if they could walk with us on this road to reconciliation. They knew the airport was on our unceded territory and wanted to recognize us meaningfully. At Tourism Prince George, our staff on the front lines have noticed in talking to domestic and international travellers that they want to learn a better understanding of First Nations, specifically the Clayton Tanae First Nation, and Truth and Reconciliation. Uh, I echo what you were saying. We can talk endlessly about reconciliation. However, progress comes from action. And today we are doing just that. Uh, together with our partners, we are turning words into meaningful change. Understanding that our whole job is encouraging people to travel to Prince George to their territory. Um, so this is a relationship that we've been working on building for a number of years and I, I see this project as just another way for us to strengthen it. Welcoming people to our territory, we've been doing it for 9,000 years and we'll continue to do it till the end of time. Like, this is a gathering place and that's what we like. We like to welcome people, make them feel at home. So when we look at these kind of projects, it's always good to understand that we're indigenizing um, the airport space rather than putting Indigenous objects within the space. So it's, it, it makes it more impactful because not only is that Indigenization of the area actually becoming a part of the, the, the airport as a whole, it's not just putting up a piece of artwork or putting up a, some, some sort of poster, it's actually making that space Indigenous. And I think that's one big step towards reconciliation that people often overlook. You know, we're on the front lines interacting with visitors all the time and specifically international visitors we hear all the time they want to learn about the history of Prince George and the history of Prince George is the Clayton Lethanay First Nation. Um, so I think that this is a great opportunity for them when they get off the plane they can see these panels they can read the history of the Clayton Lethanay. Um, you know when they're leaving even right next to security here they can learn a little bit more um, and, and even the, the flag being right outside is a great first step I think in, in welcoming these people but also an education piece for, for these visitors that are coming to the Clayton territory. I think what we're showing here in Prince George is that a regional airport can have uh, an impactful reconciliation with their uh, First Nations hosts. And for the future, we're going to be working together and, and working on how to get more of Clayton into the airport.